Shimano Husky Australian Triathlon Championships on the start line. Here we go. There it is, what a beautiful swim course it is. You can see straight out, they're gonna go straight out on, well, they'll move to the right, a little um, slight. There's a little um, reef. To the right, yeah. yeah. So we're expecting Trent Thorpe to be the dominator in this swim course. Um, Sammy Better, though, who we see him at, um, he's part of Tri Alaska. Um, we see him a lot over in the Philippines racing. Very, very confident swimmer, very, very confident athlete. He's gone under the radar a little bit. On his day, Sam can mix it with his big boys. The female starter, the Shimano Husky, Australian Triathlon Championships female. Thanks to the PTO, great to have them on board this year. As we said, a stellar field, world-class athletes, and they're underway, Crowy. Yeah, off they go. Great start by Ellie there. And it's an interesting start because as you mentioned, there's that little reef, that rocky outcrop to the right, which you have to navigate and get around before the first turning can, so. Yep, so our lead male now, he's come off the triangle, of course, which means he's heading back to where race started, right back to the shore, and our lead paddler has guided him around. So you can see there, Swimmer's taking the left-hand turn around that green boy. They're doing lap two. He's on, he's got a great little lead there, you can see already. He has, depending on where the uh, swim chute is, the exit, usually at this race, you don't come back to that can. You just come, as you mentioned, you come straight in, you take a tangent straight in. So I don't know if the paddler's let him in that way or if they've moved the swim exit this year but usually from that far turning can that you can see in the shot now you take a tangent straight in but yeah that's definitely Trent Thorpe you, I know his um, style there that is Trent Thorpe he's going to make his way up he looks back and says boys catch here I am can. catch me if you can yeah. Tim Van Burkle Joel Woodridge and his brother Josh Woodridge come on out to with Lachlan Kerrin. So there's the top of the transition area now. So there's Thorpe wearing the black and white, of course, his national colours of New Zealand. We Steve can see McKenna. Steve, Steve McKenna is just going from strength to strength in his triathlon career. He's known as a runner. He's second out of the water here today. He's only, what, 37 seconds down on a, a super swimmer. It'll be interesting to see if these boys... They're sort of between a rock and a hard place here. I'd expect them to go for, for Trent, try and get up the road, because it's about a, another 40 seconds back to the majority of this field. There's Lee Anderson Boyd. He's just about to get his bike off the rack there. Caleb Sam Noble. Benham and Caleb Noble comes on in. A big swooping left-hand turn now into the main street of Husky. And then now they go out onto this course. This is where it really starts. What a shot that is, sun in the background. There they come it's now, definitely. Ellie Soldhouse and Annabelle Luxford. Ellie Soldhouse, usually based in Boulder, Colorado. She trains with Siri Lindley. Um, Annabelle, based out of Victoria. Come on down, look at the transitions. Very smooth transition there. Bye. Ben Thorpe already down on the bars, young Kiwi, 22 years of age, in great form, um, starting 2021. He races under number 23. He's already at the five, six kilometre mark, heading back into town now. Well, let's see what kind of a lead he's got. So it's a perfect shot, as you said, with these turnarounds, you get to see one where your opposition is. So already you can see our second ride. This will be Lee Anderson Void, I would think. That's Steve McKenna, I'm pretty sure. It is Steve. It is Steve so McKenna. Steve McKenna has come through. So. Lee Anson Voigt won't be too far away, that's for sure. There he's coming to shot now, so there's Steve McKenna. Wait a minute, bit of a move there, a bit of a surge coming on through. Really, that's nice for all the boys on the aero bars there. Good speed on the cadence of the pedals there as well, coming around. Amelia Watkinson, 1 minute 30 back, Grace Steck sitting at 3 minutes 25, but definitely Ellie Soldhouse and Annabelle Luxford together at the 30 kilometre mark, thanks to Multisport Australia. Yeah, There's see, Ellie right there. We can see Ellie and Annabelle behind, so they've, they've maintained their lead. It was a minute 20 or a minute 25 out of the swim, and it seems like Ellie's doing exactly what she said she was going to do, which was try to maintain or extend that advantage on the bike. And, and that's and a great shot. Look, she looks very much in control, eyes focused up the road, down on the bars, very, very She's aerodynamic. Fine. Yeah, these girls are moving well. Fun. Here we go. The boys this are coming. This is just in. totally The boys off the are coming coup. into T2 here. Timmy Burkle in the lead. And yep. Yep. Um, Tim Reed there. Steve McKenna coming off. Sammy Bedden. You see them Noble. in the camouflage. Caleb Noble. All the boys are there. This is what it's all about. Short and fast transition coming on into their Simon Hearn. Nice to see Coming the on in. Caleb jo Noble. Josh and Joel Wooldridge. The Wooldridge boys in the mix as well. It's great to see the brothers going on. Out Tim Reed, always. I, I called it. Reedy out first. 
There's big Sammy Baden put on the glasses. That's a big glasses. lead too. That's a good lead. Trent Thorpe heading out now. What are these other boys doing? Come on, well, boys, some get out some there. What it is, Crow, is some are putting socks on, some aren't. There goes Caleb Naval, there goes Tim Burke. Oh, we'll start boys, that's, that's too much time. Look at Steve McKenna. Steve, oh. what are you doing, Steve? That's too much time. Reedy, he's showed all his experience there. Those boys at the back of the group have given up 200 metres. Caleb Noble. Caleb Noble. He, he won the Sunshine Coast Marathon in the time of about 2.31. Wow. So he knows how to run Tim Reed in second. Steve McKenna. McKenna. Had, he was last out of T2 and now in third place. Well, is that going to hurt him? Is that going to hurt him? That, that is, that's a brazen move by the young man. I hope it sticks. Caleb Noble, he's Tim going, Reed. He's yep. showing his intentions early, Steve McKenna. I think when you've come off some race wins... And you're in another race, you want to stamp your authority early. You want to get to the front and say, boys, I'm here again. So maybe that's what yeah. Steve's trying to do. But Caleb looks super relaxed. Oh, um, as we see the ladies coming in, Ellie Salthouse leading. She looks like she's on her own there. It does. Cannot see Annabelle. Maybe Annabelle's just dropped off towards the end of the bike. As we see one of our pro men head out. Great ride by Ellie. Oh, Just wow. incre he comes, he comes out, out of Bell now. So, you know, maybe a bit of traffic, maybe that little roundabout at the end, it does slow. If you're not in the wrong well, gear, Annabelle, come up to Annabelle's Annabelle. going without socks. So she's going to catch up pretty quick in yeah. this transition. Great move, Annabelle. I love it. Yeah, there she goes. She's coming out now. She's going to probably leave out here first. She did. Good work. What a transition. That's experience at its best there. Ellie, Ellie Salthouse goes on out with, of course, Annabelle Luxford. Look, Hot mate, on look, here's in. Amelia. She's, Amelia Watkins she has, has chopped some time down. Excellent work, Amelia. How good. 151. 151 down. So in that last 10K, she made up another 30 seconds approximately. This is what it's all about. She's putting socks on too, but she's very she's very quick. She's very experienced, Amelia. And I mean, two minutes, that's the deficit. Well, that's, I guess, um, great transition. Good, she's asking where to go. She work, knows where she goes yeah. straight down to the bay. But is this Ellie Soldhouse? Her plan, Crowey, was to lead from start to finish. And I tell you what, she's wow. starting to unfold this plan pretty well to the T. Well, she looks Look great. At the strength. She yeah, looks fantastic. It has looked fantastic all day. She's yeah. started to really stamp her authority on this race. She's obviously stuck to the game plan. She predicted this yesterday that she wanted to and she knew she could um, lead the swim, lead the bike, and onto the run. So, so Simon Hearn, interesting, has gone past Tim Reed, I believe. I haven't seen Reed in the shot. There's, there's um, Caleb Noble, as you said, winner, winner of the Sunshine Coast Marathon. Great top podiums, finishes in Harvey Bay. And of course, Gunda Windy, Steve McKenna, trying to cool the body down, keeping that core temperature nice and low. And Simon Hearn, one of the most beautiful and gifted runners. There's a little, slight little drop there, but Caleb Noble. Jeez, he's, opened the, he's opened the gap again He's opened Steve up. McKenna. This is going to be an epic second lap. Wait, I'm There's dying. a turnaround right there dying before Jane see, Fardell. See his run split for the first lap because that was, he looks smooth, he looks relaxed. He won't give anything to Steve McKenna as he goes past him. Steve McKenna, not oh, in the shot Simon yet. Hearns comes Simon through. Simon Hearns in the second place. He's on literally his shoulder as we Have speak. I caught it too soon. This is a great battle unfolding. We've got in yellow, Caleb Noble from Queensland and Simon Hearn from Queensland as well. This is what middle distance racing is all about. Shoulder to shoulder, side by side. We may even see us overtake. We have seen a change in the comes, lead right on camera. Timmy Reid in the background. Steve McKenna. Comes. Tim Reid looks so beautiful and strong there. This is what it's all about. There he is. Hands are in the air. He's celebrating in style. What Your 2021 champion. Look at the smile. He'll lift that banner. He'll hold it. The steam goes off. Simon Hearn is the 2021 Husky Triathlon Australian champion. His first Australian championship. To get on the top step is, is another thing. As we see Tim, the old stager, come through. Yes, he's, he's happy. Mr. Consistency. Another. Look at him. He planned that race to the T. Good place. Caleb Noble. Stand tall, my young man. He's been epic. Another podium finish at a big race for um, Caleb Noble. Congratulations to another young athlete on the rise. You know, our our tri stocks in Australia at all distances are really good. So look, the boys have left it all out there. What a race. Caleb is exhausted. It's folks, what a performance. She waves to the crowd. She celebrates what will be her first Australian championship. Ellie Soldhouse, what a performance. What a race. Swim, bike, run. All done for the Australian champion. Amelia Watkinson, the Kiwi based out of Noosa in Queensland. What a smile on the dial. She's absolutely cracked it. A great race. Well done.
Stops the watch. Yep, second place today at the Australian Championship. Yeah, welcome home, Annabelle. Great performance. She's happy, so she should be. Yes, ma'am. Great job. Yeah, so Caleb had a good lead coming into that second lap, and you're able to draw draw that back in and put some time into him to finish off. So you must have felt good finishing off that run. Yeah, I can't say I felt good. I felt good till probably 15k, and then I think I had about 30 seconds on Tim. I think Tim had passed Caleb by that stage, and um, and I just thought, well, look, if he catches you, he catches you. Just run your best pace. And yeah, like I said to you before, last kind of 2k, I was hurting really bad, but. I'm really, really proud of my effort today and, um, yeah, really happy with the result, obviously. Ellie Salthouse, 2021 Australian Long Course Champion and Elite Energy Ultimate Champion. What a race. You must have to happy with that. Yeah, I was super stoked with that. Um, my aim was to lead wire to wire and I did just that today. So, yeah, really happy with how I performed. I would have liked a bit of a faster run, but I burnt my matches a little bit on the bike course today and didn't have a lot left for the run, but I was able to hang on to a barnstorming Amelia. And you must be grateful too for the PTO for you know sponsoring this event and helping out and putting on these smaller events, um, especially after last year. Yeah, we couldn't be more grateful as professional athletes. The PTO keep us doing what we love and are able to keep continuing it as a job. So yeah, we're very grateful and very lucky to have races going ahead here in Australia. Uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to the Collins Cup later this year and then in Daytona in December. Well, well done. As I said, you should be happy with that. So put your feet up and enjoy those ice blocks Emma's got there for you. Thanks very much. There might be a burger and fries coming too. <laughs> Congratulations.